don't. So we are all, look at these shades. I love these shades, I love my blue. You okay? You sleep okay, blue? You good? Cause that was, that's what we do. So we found this place that's uh, just a block or two away. It serves some brunch. And it's chilly in the morning. It's kind of chilly, yeah. It's going to be like 80 degrees today, but as of right now, yeah, but it's, like it's a good... Dress. Well, you know, you just rock what you rock with a sweater. But yeah, people like out here are wearing a t-shirt. Aw. What's the name of that, like meal or breakfast thing that you said that they have is it like a, it looks like a quiche but it's a a tortilla it's kind of like egg potato Ooh. Kind of, oh i get it you consider like sort of like a quiche okay well if this place has it i'll try it let's look at what everything looks like in the morning all shut down Getting ready for the day. They're not getting ready for the day. <laughs> I don't think people that? wake up early that? enough. Here's where we are. It's just a few steps from our Airbnb. For breakfast, this is what did I get again? Spanish Spanish. Oh wait, I got that thing, right? Is it that, what we were talking about on the way here? It's potato and onion. All right, eggs and potato. That's what I got. And just got the egg spinach. Good. Ooh, yeah, it's got the texture of a quiche. Let's see. Really good. All right, finish with breakfast. Look how awesome the streets are. I love, love how the streets look over here. Uh, now we're just going to wait, I guess, for an hour. We'll you head over to Toledo. Your okay, yeah. We're going to go to Toledo in. Uh, the train leaves at 12.20 and it takes us 20 minutes to walk to the train. The train takes about 33 minutes to get to Toledo, so we should arrive there by 1. So we have like an hour and a half to just hang out for a second. I don't know what time is it. Uh, 10.30. Yeah, no, yeah, we got about an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little chilly. The high of the day should be 8, 80. Yeah, but it's like, so, it's like 60 right now. Yeah. So I squeezed my fat ass into these like shorts because I wanted to look European. How do I look? How do you think? Can you see me? I actually stretched them out a little bit. They feel good though. I can't wear my wallet in there though. It bulges out. Mm -mm. So Jess is holding my wallet, which is kind of weird. Why is it weird? Because, you know, you go from having a wallet on your butt to not having anything on your butt. Just your butt. Yeah, but... I don't ever have anything on my butt, just my butt. But you're not a dude. But you don't do... Fine. You know, being here, my Spanish is improving. It's only been a day, so I, it didn't improve that much. But I remembered how to say sugar, azúcar. I sound pretty sexy saying that, Jay. I don't think it's this way. This is like Plaza New York. Huh? Azucar. Yeah. I'm gonna just say azucar for everything. Azucar. Yeah, please. Please. Azucar. So the Atocha train station is about 20 minutes from our 
our Airbnb, so we're just walking, well, 20 minute walk. So we're going to walk and catch the Renfe train, R-E-N-F-E-E, R-E-N-F-E. R -E -N -F -E. It's like a carousel over there. Yeah, so apparently all of the trains are full returning trip to like 10 and we don't want to stay out there that long. So we'll go tomorrow if we feel like it. Uh, sort of up in the air. Now we're, there's a carousel in the middle of the street over here. Yeah, this is like when we come out of uh, Union Square and there's a whole bunch of vendors. Similar. Nice. We are still by the Calle de Atocha. That's the street. Street of Atocha. I think that's what that means, right? And uh, which is right across from right this little circle. I don't know what the circle is, the intersection, but it's across from the Atocha train station. And that's where we found this little vendor section that we're just walking by and looking at stuff. It's a nice ass day. It got hot, so it took off my sweater. I don't know. You tell me. They look okay. Yeah. Ooh, books for a euro. But... Can you read in Espanol? Nope. I can't even think in Espanol. Wow, that guy's musty. You want to say something about somebody? <laughs> nope, I'm not going to turn the camera off because then you're going to start talking about somebody. And if you could talk about them behind their back, you could talk about them on camera. Seriously, yeah. yeah this place was longer than we thought. What is it? It looks like a, um, a garden. We found a jardín, which is sardine in Spanish. I'm just joking, it's garden. You know what I love about Spain so far is how easy the train system is. Maybe because we're used to the subways, but really you sort of, well, yeah, we walked into the turnstile like normal and then then you just pick which way you want to go. I want to go to that, those stations, or you go to this way to go to those stations. Real simple. So we have to transfer to the 10, so we're going to go to Tribunal, transfer to the 10. How easy is that? Like, mad simple. You really can't get confused. It's dummy proof. So well, like, I didn't. Well, I didn't. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> well, I didn't get it no, at didn't first. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. So we found this store that somewhat looks like this it's like Zara, Zara. H and M type of store. It's called S F E R A. S F E R A. I thought it was like Sephora, but I don't know what it's called or how to pronounce it. I just follow Jay around. Ooh. Cute. Is that how girls say talk? <laughs> they don't talk like that. Oh, that is cute. I think the dark part is good for when you put your foot in somebody's ass, then you don't see that you don't see any like poop on the toe. Ooh, Spanish word of the day. Salida, which is exit. Well, mad stores are no, uh, not as part of me in Safara. Whatever, however you yeah, pronounce it, Safara. 
Nada es para mí en esta parada. That sounds, that sounds pretty damn good. They have an H&M and a Starbucks. I'm fwirling, fwirling my arms. I'm screaming like a little girl. So we already walked through the Plaza Mayor one time, but we didn't bring the camera, so we're gonna bring the camera this time. Looks like a concert about to happen though. I don't know either. So people like live up here. You say it's still a government official. So that's the Plaza Mayor, pretty much got a bunch of restaurants, people live in these uh, apartments, I think people do. I remember seeing an Airbnb available inside the Plaza Mayor, or maybe it was like right outside, I don't remember. We just had some tapas, right, and sangria. Tapas and sangria for two euros. You got two tapas and a glass of sangria for two euros. What? How they do that? And Jessica's on her first glass, and she says she's drunk already. You drunk, Jack? Oh my gosh, it's drunk. It's like, when it's, so, it's like when it's so good that it freaks up on you. Right, right. You are not a drinker. So, one glass of like wine or anything gets me a little tipsy. I wouldn't say I'm drunk, I would say I'm tipsy. You're you tipsy? Could, you could possibly make me laugh. Possibly with another drink, like, get laid. I don't know. Whoa. Really? Two drinks and a lay? We're gonna keep going all night. Oh, so wait. Keep going what? Drinking? What did you think I mean? I thought you meant the lay part. <laughs> so it's really good. Like, this ingredient here, it's probably my favorite. I'm not a fan of sangria, like, everywhere. They, not everybody makes it really great. Here? Is this where it originates from? <laughs> Yeah, fruits and alcohol. I have no idea. I like it. <laughs> I like it. You had a Coke. You had a Coke. Oh, I had a Coca-Cola here. It wasn't sweet. Like It wasn't like Coca-Cola at home, which is probably all chemicals. Yeah, it's too much. It's so different. It, like Coca-Cola, if you're not a coffee, like if you're not a drinker of like soda, which I don't drink on a daily basis at all, I can't even tell the last time I had a Coke. If you have a Pepsi or you have a Coke and you have all that like carbonation, it's like over, it's like really, really strong. I got a Coke because I had like, I didn't want my stomach was bothering me, so I figured out that it's with carbonation in it. And the Coke was very like, it wasn't flat, it was just like It was just right. Strong. Yeah. It's just so right. Weird. It was good. <laughs> you gonna turn me into a coconut. Oh shit, you're gonna be a coconut. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe they're like 
Huh? I think I like Madrid at night. I said that well, last night I wanted to come out at night and you were oh, like God. done. Exhausted. Yeah, we were both exhausted, but we're out now. Are you, and you know you what? Also funny, you're like, oh, I want to go. I want to stay out. I don't want to go back in. You, you know, guess who passed out first? You know, I was only taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but look. Pass out. Right now, we are. Hey, is that another tapas place? It's too close. All right, it's too close. All Ooh, right, so right now I'm gonna now. be done for the night. <laughs> She's still going. Bit. It reminds what? me of when we were in Morocco. Oh yeah. When we were like walking out, like remember when we were walking and we found like a dessert place. Oh yeah. Like, 30, 30 duro. <laughs> <laughs> so they got ham. This is jamon or jib, jamon or whatever. And yeah, this is like their specialty, slicing up that ham. It's like cured and sliced. That's a, that's a Spanish artist. Like, focus on sure. Oh, I'm too black to focus. At night, I cannot get focus. Oh, there we go, Jessica. Thank you, Jess. Oh, the square actually came up and focused on her face. Oh, you know what? We should, we should so go to that, um, that San Miguel thing because we never went. San you know, Miguel? You know that, that um, food place? Yeah. Look how many people are out here tonight. Well, no. The other day, this place was ridiculously crowded. During the daytime, oh my gosh. It's, it's crazy. It gets crazy. Plaza de San Miguel. You know what this would remind me of? They would have something very similar to this inside of like a Vegas hotel. Oh yeah, right? right? This looks like we're in Vegas, but not. You know how like Vegas has like Italy inside of it? Like this, right? Yeah. Found it? See. Si. the child hand yeah all right so this one is green olive with um, marinated pepper and artichoke that's really good too yeah I'm an olive lover I know I've never seen this done before so I'm kind of this is queso um, marinated pepper and a black olive So that's a salmon, right? The salmon with the green olive? Yeah. Oh my god, whoa. I ain't never make you do that. They have the tortilla. Tortilla. Queso, no. Tamai, burrito, mm -hmm. oh, sangria. <laughs> Caprese con. Yeah. How about we just say that? All right, tell us your first reaction. All right, and it has some jelly on it, so let's see. The jam actually makes it taste exceptional. Good. Thank you. Gracias. So we had more wine, sangria, and uh, tapas on tapas on tapas. <laughs> They're putting on a show.
This is our apartment. This is the Flamingo Show. Flamenco Show. So we are waiting right now to be seated for the Flamenco Show. It should be fun. I don't even know what to expect. Honestly, I don't even know what a Flamenco Show is. You know what it is? It's a traditional dance. It's a traditional dance. Like a two-step? Like R. Kelly? I can do that. <laughs> Don't do a two step. Two steps are universal. They do more than that. Oh, okay. You're gonna be impressed. You'll like it. Will I be impressed? Yeah.